All right, and welcome to the second question of the holiday packet. The question is, which of the following has a greater rate of change weight per brick? And how do you know? So when we're talking about rate of change, we're always talking about change. Change in Y over change in X. This is the change in weight for every one brick. When we're looking graphically, this is the same as the rise over the run or the slope. So let's just pick two points. Any two that you pick on the entire line will work because it's a linear function. So let's pick these two because they're neat and they're on lines. They'll be easy to work with. So our change in y, we're starting at 25 and we're going up to 30. Our change in y then is 5. Okay, so then what's our change in x? We're starting here at 2, and we're moving over to 4. So we have 5 here, we have 2 there. It's 5 pounds for every 2 bricks. That's the same as 2.5 pounds for every 1 brick. When we're looking at option A, we're still looking at the change in weight over the change in bricks. From 15 to 25, we add 10 pounds. And from two to four bricks, we're adding two bricks. So for this one now, it's 10 pounds for every two bricks. And that's the same as five pounds for every one brick. Well, now we can compare them. Which one has a greater weight per brick? Per brick, 2.5 or five? Well, five is greater. So our answer is option B because five pounds is greater than 2.5, or the rate of change is greater because we know that 5 is bigger than 2.5. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.